Okay, so what I got here is a locking cross strap that is TSA compliant. So TSA can get in here and unlock this to check your suitcase if they want to. I'm going to show you in this video how to set this combination to where you want it. So right now it's zero, zero, zero. You can see I unhooked it. If I move it to zero, zero, three. Can not unlock it? Back to zero, zero, zero. Unlock it. All right, I got the strap off. I'm gonna show you first how to reset this. It's gonna come zero, zero, zero more than likely. You can see it opens. I'll move it to 200. Doesn't open. Zero, zero, zero. Opens. So, what you do is you take your strap and you flip it over. And then you can see right here, you got A, and you slide this button over and up, and it's B. Get a flathead screwdriver or a little pin or something that's strong enough, and slide this over and then up. So over and up. Now it's into the B slot. Turn it over, set the combination you want. So I'm gonna do 200, cause that's what we tested it on, it didn't open. So it's 200. You can see it opens when it's on the B, but it will on any number. Take your screwdriver and push it back down and over to the left to the A slot there. And you should just have to push it down and it'll spring over. So now you're gonna see it'll unlock in 200. See? Let me put it back to zero, zero, zero. And it's locked. So now the combination is 200. That's all there is to it. If you ever forget the combination, unfortunately you can just flip it over, do the same thing but anybody can do that. But this is just to deter people, basically. I'm gonna put mine back to zero, zero, zero. Cause I don't know when I'm gonna use it next. What I do is I reset the combination before I travel. That way I don't forget it. It's not hard, it's not a big deal. Zero, zero, zero. So there you go. That's how you reset the combination to most three dial TSA suitcase strap locks.